Hi, this is Megan of Megan's Creations. I have a advanced, an advanced um, clipping layer tutorial for you today. Something I recently discovered and I thought, oh my gosh, it's so simple. I just wanted to share it with you. Um, I think designers could really um, benefit from this as well as um, just the regular everyday scrapper. So um, the what I'm going to explain to you is how to make a uh, clip a, a, one layer to another layer and then you make the bottom layer invisible because you just want the top layer to have that shape but then not have the background of that bottom layer and here's what I uh, an example of what I mean um, I love doing paints paints are an add-on I often do with my collections and but I want them to be different I like to do pattern paints and what I mean by that is um, so I have a big brush stroke here, but instead of it being like that, I want to have dots, say for example, um, that follow this pattern, you know, that get cut off at the edges, but I don't want this black background. So I have this dot overlay by Megan Turnage, and let's say I, I want these cute dots. I'm going to change the color so we can see them a little better, um, like bright red or pink, like that. So um, I've got these wonderful pink dots. And you see when I clip them, ooh, I get it. it's great, you know, faded. The dots are, are fading out, but I get this black background. And so I was thinking, how can I get rid of that black background? It's so simple. So under blending options, and you go to the basic blending options default right here, it says blend clipped layers as group. Just uncheck it. Okay. And now I'm going to make the paint brush stroke invisible by doing a deep knockout and doing a fill opacity zero but you see that it left my dots and it clipped my dots to the shape of this brush and gave it a nice grungy look painted look it fades on the edges and I just think it's super fun and I can't wait to you know use this a lot I thought you could use it and then again uh, just merge visible so you don't have that clippy mask anymore and you've just got that shape layer with the faded dots uh, another fun way to use it, I have this gorgeous lace that I wanted to show you uh, from MK Designs. I'm not MK, I'm not exactly sure how she pronounces it. But um, let's say we want to make a lacy heart for Valentine's Day. Um, so we need to pull out our heart shape. Okay, so I have my pretty little heart. And so now I'm going to take her lace and and uh, my heart's a little bit bigger. I'll make it a little smaller. Okay. Put, fit my lace, my heart in that lace right there. And again, I'm right clicking and creating a clipping mask of this lace to the heart shape. But then I want the pink background to go away. So I go to blending options, unclick, blend clip layers as group. And then go ahead and do deep and fill opacity zero to get rid of that pink background. And voila, I have a lovely, and since it's white, I'm going to stroke it so you can see a lovely little lacy heart right here that'll be fun for layouts or designing. So just real quick, super easy, just unchecking you know one little box and then making the bottom layer invisible and you've got really fun things you can do with clipping masks so hope you enjoyed this quick little tip and can use it we'll see you next week